Hello there, Smart Money Tribe. Today we move on to Chapter 8 of our review of the Smart Money Woman, written by Arisio Ugo. Chapter 8 is titled, The Power of Networking. In Chapter 7, we learned about the importance of budgeting and also of creating saving buckets for our different financial goals. This chapter begins with our main character, Zuri, attending the Wimby's conference that her boss had mandated her to attend. Of course she attended. <laughs> she wasn't trying to get fired. She persuaded her friends, Tami, Lara, and Adiswa to accompany her because she did not want to be alone. Before the conference kicked off, the ladies discussed about the conference. And Zuri had her doubts, but her friends encouraged her to keep an open mind during the event. Zuri began enjoying the conference and at a point goes to the restroom where she meets a lady known as Nwanyi Akamu or Iya Ologi. What was a well-dressed, well-spoken woman doing selling pap? Well, apparently she sold pap but with a twist. They came in yogurt-like packaging and in flavors like banana and strawberry. Her business has started in her kitchen but now had its own factory and was sold across Nigeria. Zuri observed her when they got out of the restroom and saw how she introduced herself to the powerful women in the room, like Tara Fela Durutoye and the other successful women. She spoke to Zuri about being mentored and this gingered her even the more. The Wimbus conference was blowing her mind. Left, right and center, Everyone seemed to be networking and selling their markets. Zuri then went into a session where the facilitator spoke to them about finances and hammered on the importance of changing their mindset about money. She told them that what makes one wealthy is not how much one earns, but how such a person systematically uses a proportion of their income to build assets that pay over time. After the conference that day, Zuri is seen recounting her mentoring session with Mrs. Abafo William, a partner in a law firm who she had only seen on TV and read about in newspapers and magazines. And there's some good news. Zuri's office was able to close the deal with Mr. Shola's company and the deal was signed that evening, after which Mr. Shola asks Zuri out to dinner. As expected, they get talking about Zuri's finances again and Shola promises to connect her with a financial expert to help her with her investing plans. The chapter ends with Zuri receiving a gift from Shola, a money journal where she could write down her goals, track her spending and write down her vision statements as well. So what are our smart money lessons for today? Lesson number one, mentorship is an awesome way to build your network and accelerate your personal growth. Lesson number two, drop that auntie, uncle, help me attitude and build an organic relationship with a mentor who is invested in your success and your growth. Lesson number three, network and learn how to convert that network into opportunities that can attract new business, gain you access to partnerships and help you raise funding for your business. And this is my favorite part, where we bring out our pens and our notebooks for our smart money activity. Activity number one, evaluate your network. Who do you know? Who is in your circle of friends? Activity number two, promote, demote, add, subtract. You are the CEO of your life. Do not give time to people or relationships that do not add value to you. Activity number three, what professional organizations do you belong to? Are you active in such organizations? Do you bring value to them or are you just part of the headcount? Activity number four, attend more meaningful events and don't forget to network. Activity number five, articulate and perfect your introductory non-elevator pitch with practice, practice and more practice. Do not just say, I sell this or that, so patronize me. Why do you do what you do? What makes you so different? All this should go into your pitch. 
ever heard of the saying, your network determines your net worth? Think about it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I would love to hear your thoughts, your ideas, your questions in the comment section below. Don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. And please click on the subscribe button if you haven't. See you in chapter 9. Thank you for watching.